Hello! We're back. This time around, we picked up um, uh, drinks, drinks in a kit. Is that what Drinks this is? in a kit. So basically, um, this kit contains um, six drinks. Uh, it's called NIO, stands for Needs Ice Only. So they're basically ready made cocktails, and all we have to do is shake and pour. All right, let's see. Open it up. All right. Doing it from this side because I don't want to disclose our address to everyone. Shut my face off while you open that. If you keep talking. Okay, that looks like a nice box. Okay, it contains six entirely crafted ready to make drinks. It's oh, actually right. kind of nice packaging. Yeah. So, so uh, it looks like a little thingies it's here. It's like a little. It looks like paper as well. There is a bit of plastic, but it doesn't look like there's too much plastic. Yeah, so it's a liquid inside. Yeah, so you've got um, the name of the chosen cocktail on the front. You have how much alcohol it contains. You have a little bit of the cocktail story on the back as well. Um, and what to do with it. All right, yeah, so we've got winter sidecar, Christmas margarita, vodka sour, apple rum punch, Christmas in Manhattan, or Belvedere. What about you? That one. Uh, do you have a preference? Um, I think I want to try one of the winter ones. So either the winter sidecar or the Christmas in Manhattan. All right, let's go uh, winter sidecar since we've got that out. Oh, do you only want to try the one? We can try two, I guess. Well, we can start with one. Let's start with one. All right. All right, winter sidecar. Wait, just I want to show this to the camera just to see. So, yeah. Um, so, this, I'm not very good at this. This is how it came, nice box, and then when you open it up, you've got your cocktails nicely wrapped in this box. One of the classic cognac cocktails, uh, Sidecar was created in Paris but popularized in London during the roaring 1920s. While we're singing in the perfect Christmas cocktail, our master mixologist, Patrick, was inspired by its roots and celebration. Warm, festive flavor, cinnamon, mandarin, uh, to base of cognac. All right, well, let's just see. All right. So basically, it just says, fill glass with ice, shake, Pinch corner and tear pour and enjoy. Okay, well, fill the glass Great. with Great. Which glasses do you want? Well, use, uh, let's use one. This. Alright. Nice. Alright. So I think we only have one though. We're just getting enough for one. I think that's how it reads, isn't it? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, Each then. one just makes one drink? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Alright, there you go. Well, classic tumbler glass. Ice. Ice. Since it says needs ice only. One more. I like, like lots of ice. That's good. Mm. You could decorate this, of course. I mean, what does this have? Mandarin? You could put a little bit of, like, a slice of mandarin in it if you were fancy. But, I mean, the whole idea is that you have to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you could garnish it with some, like, orange or something. It says pinch and tear. I don't see how that uh, <laughs> does anything. What? It the shaking? Take, yeah. It just takes the corner out. So, I'm guessing I'm supposed to... It says, fit, should, should I try? Pinch and tear. I see. Okay. Pinch and tear. Pinch and tear. Pinch and tear. Pinch and okay, tear. I thought you were going to have to take the whole thing out of the box. Ah, nope. I think the idea is just doing this and, oh, not pouring it on the table. Smells nice. So they didn't validate your age when you ordered this? Yes, they did. They did. The How first did they validate thing, it? Um, well, they ask you if you're over 18. Oh, there you go. You just got to be old <laughs> enough. So keep in mind, we ordered this in the UK. Uh, if you're in the US, coming from the US, I can pretty much guarantee there's no, no way you're getting this delivered. They're so strict about um, alcohol in the US. This smells really lovely, by the way. Um, it does smell really nice. Yeah, yeah. So what is the alcohol base in here again? Cognac and vermouth. Vermouth? Yeah, that's actually really good. So it's kind of um, mm. yeah, you it really, is. yeah, you notice that kind of it definitely has a Christmassy kind of warm. Mm -hmm. You definitely notice the cinnamon yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, the mandarin definitely it's got a nice sweet, uh, sweet taste to it. It has a nice kick to it too. I mean, it, it says it has um, hundred milliliters, twenty two point two percent alcohol, so that's not too shabby. Good. And then you have the exact ingredients as well. Courvoisier cognac, mandarin liqueur, briotet, 
Cocci Vermouth Storica di Torino, Cinnamon Syrup and Organic Citric Acid. No preservatives, colorants, <coughs> or flavorings. Fla flavorings. Do you want to try another one? Um, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I picked this one, you pick the next one. Okay, well, I'll go... Do you want the same kind of glass or a different one? Uh, yeah, let's do the same kind of glass. Uh, I'll do the Belvedere then. Um, hmm. It's French, Boulevard. So this is a Boulevardier. Belvedere, got it. Yes. Okay, this, this one I get to rebel. Right. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it like you hate it. Okay, pinch and tear. I mean, it does kind of take some of the fun out of mixing a cocktail, though. Like, you know, actually pouring and kind of blending everything together and all that. So it's kind of cocktails for people who don't want to spend time making cocktails. I mean, it serves a purpose. It's also for like, if you want to try a few new things, mm -hmm. we kind of purposely chose cocktails that we never had before or that are a bit special or that we never even heard of before. But you could also just go, hey, I never had a whiskey sour. I'm going to order one. Um, it's great for it's lockdown very, purposes. Um, it's got a, uh, what is that that I'm tasting? Oh, that's the Campari. Mm. Mm, you're tasting the Campari. Yeah, definitely notice the bitters in there. Bourbon, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's all right. Um, yeah, I, I think it's the Campari. I'm not a fan. We have some. Do we have some behind We us? have Campari. We have, yes, we do. We have a giant bottle of Campari behind yeah. us for drinks. Uh, personally, I would go the winter sidecar over the uh, Belvedere. Uh, so would I. Uh, but since I don't mind Campari, I'm probably going to finish this. Um, so the nice thing is like when I look for basically like a cocktail for at home, you can also get a kit where you get all the ingredients and you make it yourself. But then you get enough ingredients for say six glasses of the same cocktail. So it's not so much fun for trying different things. Mm -hmm. But it does keep the fun in of you get to mix your own ingredients and you get to mix it yourself. Whereas this is just really neat if you're like, I want to try as many different cocktails as possible and I don't want to have any work with it. Or you don't have all the mixers. I mean, you know, if you don't exactly. have Campari and bitters yeah. and all this other crap sitting at your house. Yeah, I mean, as you've uh, seen, we don't need a shaker, we don't need cutting boards, yeah. we need absolutely nothing. All we have to do is pour. Mm -hmm.